a short stage, just 150 kilometers from San Remo to Cuneo in Piedmont. It was always going to be explosive, a four-man breakaway, powered on by Filippo Tagliani, actually making it five. Filippo Tagliani took the first of the intermediate sprints at Pieve di Teco and then sat up under pressure. Tagliani's immediate objective in the five-man breakaway was achieved at this point, and then straight on to the 10-kilometer climb of the Colli di Nava. That was the end of the man from Drone Hopper and Droni Giocattoli. That left just four riders going over the top of the only categorized climb of the day, with Pascal Enkhorn from Jumbo Visma taking maximum points ahead of Nicola Prodom, Mirko Maestri and Julius Vandenberg of Education Easy Post. Through the second intermediate sprint of the day at San Michele di Mondovi, at this point, uh, the bunch was under real pressure, chasing down a very determined quartet of riders being blown on by a cross tailwind. There were splits in the peloton at the back, but none of the significant players in the general classification or for the bunch sprint were affected by that. With 10 kilometers to go, the quartet of riders still had one minute in the bank and an active chance of holding off the chase. But in the final kilometer, eventually, Drupama FTJ caught them and Arno de Mar with Fernando Gaviria and Mark Cavendish on his wheel powered towards the line in the Malia Ciclomino. The breakaway caught, the sprinters had it, and de Mar held off a fast finishing Phil Bauhaus and Mark Cavendish. I didn't want to wear a head straight band today because I knew I, will, uh, I should stop for a head shot, you know. Damar, win number three. He is the fastest man, but that was very, very tight. And the sprinters only just held off the breakaway today. Those four riders just caught in the final kilometer of stage 13. Damaro taking the win ahead of Phil Bauhaus and Mark Cavendish. Avant d'arriver ici, je m'étais dit euh, pff, si voilà, je fais rien qu'en gagner une, ça sera beau, tout le monde me dit ouais, comme euh, comme en 2020. Mais voilà, faut pas sous-estimer euh, chaque victoire et faut aller les chercher encore plus celle d'aujourd'hui. Je suis je suis cuit. It came at a real cost, and the delight was evident. Arnaud de Mar's 87th professional victory had Phil Bauhaus and Mark Cavendish Gaviria in fourth, and then two Italians in fifth and sixth, Dainese and Consoni. A tenth consecutive day in the pink jersey for Juan Pedro Lopez, hanging on to his advantage in a general classification that changed due to the abandon of Roman Bardet and everyone else moves up one place. Alejandro Valverde now in 10th place at 1 minute and 23 seconds.